Metroidvania, a term coined to describe a particular genre of game. Today, two of the games that share the namesake battle it out. Join Steven, Jacob, and myself Brandon as we decide which game is better. It's Metroid vs. Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse on this episode of Video Game Fight Club. Alright, now it's time for Castlevania 3 versus Metroid. And our reasoning behind putting this, I know they, they, you know, Castlevania didn't become like, you know, similar, super similar to Metroid until Symphony of the Night, mm -hmm. but the term Metroidvania Vania, yeah, you can't, is it's something... Like it's like PB and J. Yeah, and then also, we just needed somewhere to put these two games, sure. and if they were the, we, it was the last slot, we had to put it somewhere. And I think Castlevania... And this is our show, and we do what we want. Castlevania 3, I think, particularly... So cry more. Really is the, 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 the best one to pick from that series. Yeah, yeah. Because there's a few of them. So play. I'm actually not super duper familiar with Castlevania 3, but yeah. I did a little research. Um, a good game. I have played it before in the past. Dracula's Curse. I think the biggest difference between Castlevania 3, and we're not even going to talk about Castlevania 2, because that one's bad. Yeah. Uh, Simon's yeah. Quest, that one that one's really bad. Uh, Castlevania 1 was very uh, simple. Mm -hmm. It was very simple, and then Castlevania 3 just kind of expanded upon it by giving you more playable characters. Mm -hmm. um, it has a cool story. Yep. Yeah. Um, it, it's not like your typical Save the Princess. You know, you're going on this grand adventure. and I mean, who doesn't like going in this world full of, like, classic monsters? Like yeah. Like mummies and it was, Medusas. And I mean, technically... Those little jumping monkey humpers, you know what I'm talking about? Technically... You know the, mon the monkey humpers? I don't know. Technically, it is one of the first horror games... Yeah. On the NES. Yeah. We're talking about that genre. Like, you're going to kill Dracula! Yeah, dude, Dracula's scary. Mm-hmm. And, dude, Castlevania is is still relevant to this day. Yeah. Unfortunately, Konami owns the, it still owns the rights to it, and they don't do anything with video oh, game. Oh, oh, oh. They're probably going to make a pachinko machine uh, the yeah, uh, probably, You'll probably see some Castlevania slot machines, Jacob. <laughs> But uh, also, we're narrative. talking about Metroid. <laughs> we're talking about Metroid here. We're talking about Metroid. Yeah, and Metroid. I didn't know Metroid is like the is the king of the isolated feeling, mm. just being on this planet alone. Totally inspired by uh, Ridley Scott's Alien. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the first time that we had our female protagonist. Yes. Yeah, did and you know that, that was Metroid a huge, a, girl? a huge reveal at the end of that game, whenever yeah. you beat the game. Now, look, I wasn't old enough to experience... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not old enough. I was not alive back then to experience being able to see who Samus really right. was the first time because I had played Super Metroid first. But that's a big deal. I did, I'm gonna be honest. I knew about who Metroid was. I played it. Who Metroid was? Who Metroid was? Ah, you, we're gonna, you, we're gonna do it. Ah, you fell for it. Uh, you I said did. it earlier too. I did, yeah, uh, I did that on purpose. No. Well, so did I. No, you didn't. Anyways, hey, um, do you want to? Oh man. Do you want to record a fight later? Yeah. I'll give behind. Old. The, I'll get behind uh, the camera. But um, but no, I but I remember. I I remember. Oh. I didn't find out that Samus was who she was until like the SNES. Like, and mm -hmm. I, I read it at a Game Pro. Like, but I never got to finish. Well, Metroid. even then, if you didn't have an instruction manual right. and you played it, right. um, it was kind of hard to tell because she was behind that bulky suit of armor. Mm -hmm. But if you died in Super Metroid, she exploded and all her armor came off. And, well, and, and then her. there's a that scene in the beginning where it zooms in on her face. Yeah, Since she's got feminine features. Um, but also, I, I think these games are, are, are super similar. Um, you know, later down the line, yeah. So it's gonna be hard to compare Metroid because Metroid One is like it set the groundwork for what is gonna be considered Metroidvania in the future. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah. even like using the term Metroidvania because it's just Metroid. Metroid started it. Yeah, and that's what makes it makes it super iconic. And you know what else is super iconic? Metroid music. Oh, Metroid's music. To, to this yeah, day, it is. To this it's day. Really, now look, Castlevania's music's pretty good too. Castlevania's got really yeah, it's good. It's not music. a pushover. It's oh, got yeah, really good music. music. Man, I, I, when that very beginning scene with Simon sitting there, it's like, dun, 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 dun. the lightning's flashing yeah. in the background. He gets You're up, right. he's kneeling, he stands up. I mean, but the I, same thing with Samus. Like, I think Castlevania Three has more music. It does. Than Metroid does, it, but the, the music that Metroid does. I think have. Metroid's a little older. Oh, it God, is the music that Metroid does have. Punch so, you in the mouth. Good. So like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't, I don't want to spoil anything. I want to say later, but like, you know, like in Zelda One, when you go into dungeons and you get that do, yeah. it's it's a short loop. Yeah. And so when it, whenever you were making music on the NES, it's like you had to make it count. Yeah. And I feel like the music in Metroid it loops pretty quick, but it sounds it so good. Right it, yeah. It doesn't really. It, it doesn't. It, 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 it so doesn't. Well. It doesn't like. 
mind-numbingly. Yeah. It does. It doesn't drive you insane. Like how like Zelda's dungeon music, in my personal opinion, I don't like it because it's too short of a loop. You get a and it sounds really good at first, but after the first few loops, you're just like okay. But like Metroid One, you get the crates crates layer. Yeah. Now there's a lot. I mean, it, it expands on that music, and it has even better music in the future. Oh, yeah. But I think Castlevania might have, because of its variety and the more tracks it does have, I think it might be a little better. I don't know. What do you What do you think? I think it's a little better, but I think that's only because it's 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 just the tech. It's not like the three to one thing, like the, the technology the, to the to, Mario three to Mario one. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the 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 leap in technology when three came. I, I think you're right. Because once um, you figure, once you you know, as the years go by, you kind of figure out the new limitations. Like yeah. like when you first when you make a a game when you make a game for a system at first. You, you you have an idea of what the, what the limitations are, and you're not really pushing them. But then, I think as the as the years go on, you understand how you can manipulate the limitations to where you can either you can either exceed them, find a way to push them forward with that little cartridge, or you find a way to fit what you want within those limitations. Oh yeah, that's it was, gonna a, be, it, was a, it was a difference of three years. Yeah, yeah, Metroid came out in '86, so it was right there at the beginning of the console. That's, oh, yeah. that's going to be '89 on Castlevania. Exactly. That's going to be super relevant when we, when we hopefully talk about. Super Nintendo games, yeah. uh, but I think visually, I think visually, Castlevania just looks better. Oh yeah, I agree. I agree. I mean, you know, that that's another hardware limitation thing, probably. But yeah. um, but I mean, you know, Metroid does a good job at painting the picture of what it's supposed to be. But in my yeah, opinion, yeah, yeah. Castlevania, Castlevania has that extra few years on them to where they could fit in. And even and I, and I say this, you know, as if it's unfair, but I'll be honest, Castlevania One probably has. A little bit better detail. In my well, opinion, the too. thing that, like, so like the yeah, the worlds, so. yeah. the worlds felt lived in, in in Metro. I remember when I'm playing it. I remember, I remember, I felt it felt scary being mm-hmm. in those little caves the and, and the creatures and the that. bats would drop down and try yeah. to get you. But like with three, like not only do you see Simon and the animations that Simon has for a Sprite, but like like you do the clock tower level and like the clock of the tower Dude, is like yeah, kicking yeah, in the looks, background. Really good. So it's not just a flat static yeah. stage. And that's stuff not that's going not on. usual for Nintendo mm-hmm. games, NES yeah. games. Most of the NES games have a static background. There's nothing yeah. going on. Like I said, the right. lightning would flash. That's pretty would, cool. It would light the uh, screen I, up, you know. Yeah, so I, I think Castlevania. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, I think story wise, uh, Ooh, I think the thing. I think Metroid might have that. One. Well, Metroid. I don't know you because think? because Metroid it doesn't really have the storytelling in the game. Yeah. It's, it's more true. like you kind of had to read the instruction, the instruction manual. If you don't have that instruction manual, to be honest, you have no idea. Like what you just you just kind of yeah. just kind of pop in yeah. and you see Kraid, you kill him. You see Ridley, you kill him. And that's kind of what you do. Exactly. Deep other brain, you, you, yeah. you blow her up. Now, when you go back and you play on Zero Mission on the on the GBA, yeah. it's a lot different. There is a story, but you know, I mean, in all honesty, the original does not. Like or how about this? You bring up Zero Mission is a good point because one of the biggest complaints about Zero Mission on the Game Boy Advance was that it was a little bit more handholdy. And Metroid One, it doesn't tell you anything. Exactly. Well, and I think that, I think that's a, yeah. a, a point in its favor going into mechanics. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad you brought that up, Steve. Is because Metroid. It kind of it it broadened the length of the game by making you have to go and explore. Exactly. And like, I mean, you have your passcodes and stuff like to to continue essentially because it didn't have that battery pack support yet. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but like, I mean, you I, I think that's kind of how they sold a lot of Nintendo powers because there was, you were gonna need help. Yeah. Unless yeah. unless you had unless you played that game and you explored and you kind of remember where everything was. But that was the fun with those games back then was getting you a piece of graph paper, remembering oh remembering yeah. where you were, having your own notes. My and, buddy did that. Yeah, dude. Like that's that's one of the special features of Metroid that mm-hmm. you know, like a lot of games didn't have, Metroid especially video. the side scrolling games. And that's another thing. Metroid wasn't left and right. Metroid starts and you have to go left. Yeah. Like a lot of games, you need to go right, or, or you just continue going right. Mario yeah. or any other uh, Kirby, even yeah, Kirby it's like right. you just go right, right. Mm-hmm. And, and, and like the first thing it does is break those conventions and let you know, hey, this game is different. Yeah, and so yeah. and also I think it's just a smartly designed game. That's another thing. Um, but what do you think was what do you think's more revolutionary? I have to go with with Metroid on that one. Metroid. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I, yeah think, I agree. I, I think mean, as a technological piece, I think Castlevania takes that. But we're, we're talking about what it was was able to do in that game, mechanically, visually, audio. But at the end of the day, the, 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 the blueprint, the DNA of Metroid is built into Metroid, right. the NES Metroid. And that uh, kind of started that, especially when y'all are going to get to, maybe if we do the SNES I, I special. Love those, 
Yeah. <laughs> that's the one. I agree. I agree with Jacob. I, I think he said too. it yeah. pretty well. I think it's revolutionary because the way it introduced introduced this new genre. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think you're right. I think Castlevania is technically a better game um, from a lot of different aspects. Yeah. But like, I think, like if you if we lead into the next one, right? I, th- I test time. Yeah. I what, think Castlevania just looks. It just feels mm-hmm. better. Plays better. It looks yeah. better. And then, yeah. And then sounds another better. Thing. I think it does stand the test time a little bit better because Metroid's rough. It is. I think. It, I think if a lot of like people who aren't used to NES gameplay go back and play Metroid, they're just gonna like die and be like, "I'm not playing this." Yeah, yeah that, that was me. That's, that's why I say that. Um, and then, but, ooh, oh man. What do you? What, what represents the console better? Ooh, I'd have to say Metroid. I'm, I'm with Steve. I'd yeah, have to say Metroid. I agree. And that's and it's it, it, you know Nintendo games are gonna have a little bit of an unfair advantage to that in that regard because those are gonna be the ones that people remember the most. Not just because they're iconic, but also because they're first party they're the and they were yeah. marketed. You know, they were marketed that way. But I mean, in all honesty, you know, I mean, there's just a whole lot that's iconic. I mean, it's 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 one of the very first female protagonists in a game. That you know, you can't understate that. You know, that it, 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 like you have to think too. You know, when they marketed the Nintendo, it was marketed in the boy section. That's how they got it to sell so well. They marketed it in the boys. Well, they, well, boy they didn't section. promote that she was a female. No, they didn't promote it, but it was the first thing. But you know, they it was revolutionary in that fact where you know this is a female. That was your treat for playing the, for finishing the game. Exactly. And also, remember the Justin Bailey code where you could put you put in Justin Bailey and then you get to play as Samus with her suit off and she got the green hair. Yeah. Uh, you know this, that? Mm-hmm. You know that? Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. I'm just I, looking, man. I'm, I'm trying to compare. This is a tough one. Actually. This is this is pretty tough. I feel like the first two I kind of already pre-set my notions with what I wanted to pick, but this one's. I thought I had it, but now. This is hard. It's really very, hard. Very uh, hard. Oh, is it time to vote? Yeah, it's time to vote. I'll, I'll go, go first. Vote. I'll go, go first. first. Go first, Brian. I think, with all that being said, uh, I think Castlevania is a better game, but I think for this for the sake of my vote, I gotta go Metroid. I, got, I think I'm voting Metroid because I think that uh, it created a franchise that is, to this day, like people are clamoring for Metroid 4. Mm-hmm. Metroid Dread was such a big deal, and people loved yeah. how Metroid Dread went back to went its back roots. To his roots. Uh, yes. And yeah. people wanted, they wanted that old school Metroid, and there's a reason for that. And <sighs> I'm glad we're not talking about Super Metroid right now because... I'm super passionate about that game, but I think Metroid is just, for the sake of what is a better NES game to move forward in this bracket, I'm, I'm going Metroid. I'm going Metroid. Steve. <sighs> it's, it's tough, man, because, I mean, both these games are incredible. I think in a lot of ways, Castlevania is a better game, and Metroid just stands out as an icon. You know, you can't ignore the fact that Samus is to this day, to this day, of one of the most iconic female protagonists in gaming in general. You know, I mean, she paved the way for girl protagonists, in my opinion. I think she kind of popularized it. She made it cool. Um, you know, but Castlevania kind of stands on its own because it's it's un- it, 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 it's it's a fantasy. Hit, you know, it's it's it, it's one of those games where it's like you know, I want to kill a bunch of evil things. I'm gonna play Castlevania, and that's. I'm gonna kill some evil, evil things. things. Evil things. Oh, but you, did you feel bad for stomping on Goombas, so you wanted to go burn some mummies? Well, and well, do some well, heads? Okay. well, I don't mean it like I don't mean it in that context. What I mean by is that you know, Goombas were introduced by Mario. You know, mm-hmm. they were made up for Mario. You're familiar with a lot of these baddies. You're familiar with mummies, vampires, yeah, yeah, yeah. witches, jumping, like, Marvel, jumping, jumping humper, 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 humper mummies. I mean, yeah. you, you know, you see those in your Frankenstein, in your Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah. At the end of the day. You know, this was a tough one for me, I, I, but I gotta pull the trigger on Metroid. I can't. You can't go against the iconicness of Metroid. I mean, Metroid is just—it's—it's it's Samus, dude. It's Samus. It's all these iconic. And it's just the thing that really sets it aside for me is that the isolation that you feel in a Metroid game is just paramount to the experience, and you don't get that in a whole lot of games because you need to feel alone in that game. You really do to truly experience it, and they do such a phenomenal job, even with the limitations of the time period when it, in which this came out. What was it? Eighty three? We said eighty six. Eighty six. Excuse me. When this came out in eighty six, and even then, it just made such a compelling argument 
for this is a game that's supposed to make you feel uneasy. You are alone. You're in space. You're scared. You know, and it did everything to the best of its ability. Castlevania, as far as quality, I'll, I'll give Castlevania the nod every day of the week. But man, you're talking about like what's what deserves to go forward as the better game all around with all of these factors considered. Metroid every time. Yeah, it's close. I mean, I, I mean, I'm already. It doesn't matter what I vote, but I, I, I have to say, I, if I'm gonna, if there, there's two, there's two Jacobs in my brain when it comes to gaming. There's the, there's the, the kid nostalgia bias. This is what my the rose tinted glasses. But then there's the mature older Jacob that has to look at things and and, and look at things ca- with the critical eye. Yes, yes, and I know so how like, I feel. So I like nostalgia feel. Jacob wants Castlevania because you know what? If I want, I, I got I, like you said, I got both those in front of me and two screens, and I and I, want, I want to have fun today playing Castlevania. If I don't play Castlevania, I'm gonna have some fun. I ain't gonna have fun at Metro. I'm just gonna be perfectly honest. That's okay. But you, you it doesn't mean you but, have to vote for it. You can vote but, for it. I cannot argue with what Metroid like like you said if we're representing the NES if we're representing if we're putting together a a roster of the NES icons to fight against some other console Samus is on that team and Simon's probably not. Oh man. So I have to Actually, say it's Met- Trevor Belmont. No, 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 no. It's Trevor. So I have to say Metroid. So I'm unanimous right. across the board. Looks like Dracula's curse couldn't be broken, and Metroid moves forward in the competition. Did Metroid deserve to win? Sound off in the comments down below and tell us why we're wrong, or right. And also, don't forget to subscribe and share this show with everyone you know. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.